Hey everyone, welcome back to Jardev, and welcome to Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, it came out a little bit early on Steam, so I'm actually playing this on the 24th. Uh, not coming out for a few days. I have obviously been looking forward to this game for a long time now. I just noticed there's no music in this menu. That's not a great sign. I've been wanting to do a Dark Souls 1 series, like a solo full playthrough, for about a year now. And then, when I heard about Dark Souls Remastered, I figured, might as well leave it for that. Uh, get a little bit more hype around the game and the series. So the idea for this series is to basically remake Anna Rwando from the uh, Prepare to Sigh series with Kristen Taylor, because that was focused mostly on the funny moments part. Um, so this one will actually just show off the build completely. So let's actually just get right into the game. Okay, so I've got to try and remember her name. Oops. Uh, how she looked. Anna, oops, Anna Rwando. HD, obviously, because we're remastered now. She's got to be a lady. Uh, she is a sorcerer. She starts with the master key. That's not looking quite like her. Oh boy, what was she? <laughs> she might have been a dragon scholar, actually. I think she was probably a dragon scholar. Uh, I vaguely remember her hair. I think it might have been like that. Or that. Yeah, I think she had ponytail B. And it was like grey hair. It's lucky there's not very much customization in this. There we go. That is that is Anna Rwando HD. Perfect. Yes indeed. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed. Shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy. So easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, 
but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Man, wasn't that exciting? Oh, look at this actual 60 FPS. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. So there you can see the new, uh, like, item effect, which is, like, it's very pretty, but it is kind of over the top, isn't it? <laughs> it looks really nice, but yeah, it's super over the top. Oh, exciting. So great. Okay, so. Alright, I have to go pick up my, uh, my first... Oh, we now have to attack. I have to go pick up my first weapon. Wow, look at that fire. The fire is very different so far. I don't think they changed any of the textures on him. So this... I haven't done a, like, a full, like, long Let's Play in a long time. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Because, like, they don't really do very well on YouTube anymore. Um, they haven't done super well in the last couple of years. So that's kind of why I've avoided doing them, but like, I just love Dark Souls so much that I had to do one for Dark Souls Remastered. So I'm going to try and make it like as snappy and as like full of content as possible. That is my hope for this series. <gasps> I can get all the achievements again. Yes! So there'll, there'll probably be a few cuts in the episodes, um, especially when I die. Like, I'll go through all the areas for the first time. See Asylum Demon. Du, 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 du. Oh. <laughs> that music did not last very long. Phew. Oh, the fire looks very warm now. It's nice. Oh, epic touch. There's a shield. We don't need shields. No shields this playthrough. I'm pretty sure we're not we're not gonna use them at all. Uh, I'm obviously gonna play this series like how I usually play these series, uh, which is summoning whenever I want for whichever bosses I want. I know some people are like, no, you've got to, you've got to do every boss solo. But I just do, I do whatever I want, you know? Yeah. Yikes, I think that straight sword hilt might have been better. <laughs> so there's the new fog walls. Which are, again, very pretty, but a little bit over the top. I don't think they're that bad, actually. I think they're, they're trying to match, like, the Dark Souls 3 fog walls. Wow, he's very bright in there. Let's go up here to get the boulder rolling. Bam. Hello. Oh, you... You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. 
then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Yes. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Okay, I might be wrong, because it's been a while since I've played Dark Souls, but I do seem to remember like him giving the Estus flask in a second bit of dialogue. Like he stopped talking, then you had to talk to him again to get it, but I could be wrong. Oh, and this. Oh, thanks. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Okay, thanks, guy. Indeed. So they did make a change, um, like in Dark Souls 3. Now if you like hold down on the D-pad, it'll automatically go to your first item in slot. But obviously we don't have anything else. Oh, he just died. Now, stop that. I actually just got his souls from him dying. <laughs> so I think he should be there when we... Whoa. Uh, when we come back. Later. Okay, that should be my staff, I think. There we go. Oh, there's supposed to be a guy there. Oh, there he is. Okay, I, I just... I'd really like to equip my staff. Okay, thank you. Get rid of that. Uh, we can leave that on there, actually. We're going for, like, the Gandalf build. Where we have, like, the, the staff in the left hand and we'll have a long sword in the right hand. <sighs> Holy shit, that does a lot of damage. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. I can never quite remember. There's a bit of a tough fella. Oops. Wow, he is pretty tough. And we probably can't even open this yet? No. Okay, let's go take on the first boss. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately we've just got a dagger, so we don't do very much to him. But don't worry, magic does a shitload. Oh boy. Humanity, that's nice. Oh, that's the wrong way. Let's drop a heal just in case. So we are going to have to deal with uh, using Estus just locking us in place again, which is super annoying. But at least, like, it heals, like, Estus works different in every single game. Like, in this one, it heals you all in, like, one big gulp, but... It stands you in place. Dark Souls 2, it heals you over time. And I think also stands you in place. And Dark Souls 3 heals you in one gulp and you can move around. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran.
Wow, this looks nice, isn't it? Nice. We are here. Rest. Uh, what do we need? I think we need one more strength for a longsword, and then the rest can just go into intelligence. There we go. Oh, do you hear that bell already? So every time you hear the bell, there is somebody who's just beaten the gargoyles or Quaylog ringing the bell. And apparently, like, they've just been going constantly since the game came out. Which is so cool. So I know, um, like, it came out on the evening of the 23rd, and that night there was, like, 6,300 people playing when I checked. So it's got a pretty good community right now. Oh, right, it does obviously also have, uh, network settings, I guess? Yeah. Uh, password matching now, which is great. Wow. What do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? Neat. Wow, everything's very like, warm and bright, which is kind of weird for Dark Souls. Um. So, like, the boss I am kind of most dreading right now is actually the... Um... The gargoyles. Because... I've never been very good at the gargoyles, to be honest. Wow, look how warm that fire is. Yeah, I've always kind of struggled with them a little bit. And I won't have any good spells. Like, I will get my good spells... Theoretically, in Sense Fortress. Um, but I think I will have to kill Ornstein's Smog first, before I can actually use my good spells. Ugh. So yeah... Like, once I get to Sen's Fortress, I'd need to rescue Big Hat Logan. And then... Um, I'll be able to buy my good spells from him. But you don't get to warp until... Uh, until you kill ONS. So, like, I can either just leave Sen's Fortress once I got the spells and, like, go back to the beginning and have to redo it all, or I can just suck it up and do an ONS and then be able to teleport. And Deadburg. So, I think these guys should start dropping longswords for me, which is what I need. Nope. <laughs> Enemy AI is still a little bit janky, I guess. I mean, we know what this is. Like, it's literally just a graphical upgrade. And that's it. There's no, like, no AI improvements. Nothing like that. They haven't fixed Isolith or anything. They have made that Drake look very pretty, though. Drop that shield, bitch. Oh, couldn't switch target very well. Stab! That was pretty good. Bam. Our uh, no hit run is going very well so far. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, is he gonna... There he goes. Wait, I thought they said they added, like, an actual jump button. They didn't! It's still on... It's still on run. I could have sworn they said they fixed that. Well, that's rough. Uh, just make sure I've got all my stats right. Yeah, let's get more intelligence. Oh, we can only do one. Because pretty soon we're gonna have to go... 
um, by more soul arrows. Oh god. Uh oh, that one's tough. Yeah, we can't do that until we get the shortcut back to Firelink. See a little lag spike there? That's nice. 